Hello guys, Wuxing here. So today I'm going to show you a tip and technique using Wim. This technique I wish I know it long before I have been using Wim for so long because it's tremendously increased and improved my productivity a lot. So let's jump right to it. So let's say um, at the source code directory here, I have a bunch of like CPP file. So let's say I'm going to edit this one. Scope the CPP. We now add it, and okay, I want to compile and build the executable from this source code. What I can do now, my option is, the first one might be to open a new terminal, in this case is Windows Linux subsystem. The first thing I have to go to that directory itself, so yeah, and then just execute the command there. So you see this uh, one or two hop more of the effort that you need to do. And if you if you do this, you have to like a switch back and forth between the terminal window as well. That's not so convenient. But what we can do better inside Vim itself is that we can use Vim command that's core terminal. We can actually just type TEIM and that's it. But anyway, we can do terminal as, as well if you want it. But the shot is term. And Vim gonna spawn and open a new terminal window. Actually, it's this emulator command first, emulator terminal first. And from there, we can listing the file and then type any command that we wanted. Scope the CP. And that's it. We get it. We can execute the, the executable binary and we get the result. As well, we can go, go back to the previous window and try to expand it a little bit to get as more room to see something. Go back to that, and as well, we can expand it to the same, make it equal. We can do just the things with it, just like terminal command as the normal Vim window. We can close this with the exit command. Okay. Um, not just we can execute the term itself and then just uh, open an uh, empty, terminal window first, but we can just supply right away the terminal command. In this case, I'm gonna uh, supply ls. And what it do is that it's gonna execute the command and then get the output for us as the file. So we can edit it as well here, but, but in this case, the, the modification is off, so it is just the default. But actually we can do is uh, write into the to file here find listing .tech. and we can close it and then we can tie to uh, open that thing file listing and it's it's just there and we can do something with it. So let let do some more a little bit complicated use case here so I'm gonna split I'm gonna split the window. Uh, let's say gonna try to compile another source code. In this case, on the website, type traits the CPP. I can do the same with term, then with the same command. Yeah, and we get it. The same thing, and we can switch back to the right side of the window and do the same thing as well. So in this case, you can see we have multiple of windows we can operate in with right inside the Vim and no need to switch back and forth between the app. And you can do whatever you want. Maybe you want to switch to another directory to see the things and you do a bunch of the command there in order to source the output or anything like that to keep the productivity flow. So, yeah. And I hope this technique gonna help improve your productivity. Thank you.